Well, let's start with this uh, masterclass. Uh, well, first of all, um, I'd like to welcome you all at this uh, masterclass, and uh, especially uh, Yoshino-san, who is here now. Um, yeah, for the X times, I would say he gives uh, several masterclasses or workshops, also for our Hanlin QRM Center. And now we are giving uh, together, but especially from y Yoshino, the masterclass on Hansai. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah, and, and it's interesting. We spoke um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we spoke about Hansai, and then you were explaining me things about how Hansai is going at, at Toyota. And then I asked the question, uh, Hansai, isn't that the same as, as, as Czech in Plan Do Czech Act? And then you said, well, basically, yes, that's the same. And it's interesting. So we are talking about Czech, but we will also talk about Hansai. Uh, uh, so self-reflection, what does that mean in, in continuous improvement? Um, first of all, I, I have, um, I think, welcome, Geert. I see that you also arrived. So perhaps if, if, if you can mute your, uh, turn off your camera, I think. Yes, thank you. Um, okay, um, first of all, I give a short introduction, and the introduction will take about five to ten minutes. Then I give the floor to uh, to Yoshino-san, where he explains some key elements of uh, of Hansai of the Czech, of what Czech basically means. Uh, we'll give you a kind of a kind of kata, a kind of routine how to do uh, how to do the Czech process. Well, at that moment, it's your turn to ask questions uh, through the uh, uh, through the, the uh, uh, through the, the conversation through the chat. Uh, well, we, we will try to answer these questions, and it will take about what, 20 minutes or 25 minutes, and then we'll continue with a, in my opinion, very interesting case. But then we ask your participation a lot because. Then we ask you to use the chat very well because we will ask you questions. We will put you in the shoes of a manager and ask you what to do in this case. Uh, so it's it's basically it's a masterclass, but it's also a kind of a kind of training. It's an interesting case. Uh, we discussed quite quite a couple of times on that case. Um, it's not it's it's derived from an experience from Yoshino. In uh, in Florida, but it's uh, it's a little bit of different case. We made it a little bit different. Let's start. First of all, a little question. Perhaps some of you can put in the chat what this means, what this is. Let me see who who can see what it is. Please use your chat. The first one is the winner. PDCA, yes, I hear it. PDCA, very good, very good. You know, it took a little bit time, and that that's also the case when you are going to company, and you're asking, are you doing PDCA, and you're explaining PDCA, then they say yes, but when you look, go and look in practice, then many times we have difficulties to see PDCA. Uh, let me, uh, Veronica and Marijk, can you turn off the camera? Yeah, so it's difficult to see PDCA, but it's important, it's important in every case that there is a clarity about PDCA. You need to stretch the PDCA. In many practical cases, uh, people make a plan, but they are not doing, not checking, not acting. Or they are doing something without a decent plan, not checking, not acting, and plan do. Many times we do that, but we, we expect the results are different, and we do another thing. That's wrong. At Toyota, all managers learn how to do PDCA. So PDCA, that's, that's the topic. You need to stretch it. And to stretch it costs effort, costs a lot of effort. And basically, what what I learned from Mr. Yoshino is that stretching PDCA is a key task for the manager. The manager has to learn 
to stretch PDCA. It needs a constant attention. Why a constant attention? Because there is always a force, always things happen. Why we want to shrink PDCA in an unreadable thing. So PDCA in every management training at Toyota, PDCA is a key element. So that about PDCA. Uh, today, may I ask everybody to mute the microphone because someone is eating chips. Please <laughs> mute, mute the microphone. Yes. So we are now talking about PDCA, but we will focus on check. And check is probably one of the most important letters within Plan Do Check Act. And we will explain that further. And we will also link it to Hansai. Uh, first of all, before doing that, exp just explaining why PDCA, why it needs to be stretched, why it is so important to stretch it. Well, okay. if you don't stretch hey, it, begin that. Yeah, please mute your microphone. Yeah. If you don't stretch it, then all kind of PDCAs, all kind of improvement projects, probably too many, are running simultaneously and independently from each other. Well, when doing PDCA, of course, there is a kind of line. It goes more straight. Than I can hear you. Now, Mr. Mitz, Understand why? Okay, okay, now I I can hear you. Yes. Okay, now I'm back. Well, mm -hmm. probably you you heard that that if PDCA if there is not a check, then probably we have lots of small improvement projects, but no check, no act, and no uh, there's not a link between the all the activities and to gain that link check is very important and then you get a green line a more straight line towards the target where we want to be but probably you may say well the target is not that easy uh, we don't know the target and things are changing many times it might be true but behind the target there are always certain principles to which we can measure the direction of the green arrows. There's a result we want to have in Lean. We want to have flow in processes. There's also a kind of method and Lean principles of customer first, uh, understanding the value added activities, gaining flow, pull, and improvement. And that's the key mindset to have respect and Kaizen, PDCA. So we have a certain direction in which we want to go. And that's why PDCA is important. And it's important, especially that managers stress the importance of PDCA and stretch it. If managers are not doing it, how to expect it from the employees? Well, targets may change. And in environments where agile is important, well, we simply need to do PDCA faster. But PDCA remains important. So this is a kind of introduction. I now would like to give the floor to, uh, to Mr. Yoshino uh, and explain some key elements of the check. And it's some time ago, I got a slide from him. And for me, that slide made many things clear about what check basically is. And that's this slide. Perhaps uh, you can explain this. Uh, okay. Gino. Okay. Uh, this is a very simple chart. On the left hand side, it says process. So you go up. That means process is better. Better process when you go up. And bottom process is okay. It's not so good. Uh, then horizontal, you see result. So when you go to the right, result is good. When you just go to the left, result is no good. And look at this uh, shaded, uh, actually, gray zone on the bottom. You, you see four boxes, but lower two boxes. Look at it. 
you know, this means, you know, the process is not so good, not, you know, just okay process. On look at this right hand side, result is good. You know, even the process is not so good, but sometimes if you are lucky, then you get a good result. Let me give you any, one example. You know, the, toward the end of the year, we just buy lottery. Lottery is a, is a you know, that you know what it is, lottery. So if you go to the lottery shop, maybe at the train station, and then you, you buy it, maybe just, maybe just 20 or 30 uh, tickets in lottery. And if you are so lucky, then at the end of the month, now, maybe next January, then you hit a lot of a lot of money, maybe million euros or whatever, if you are very lucky. But then result is good. However, look at, at the process. You don't have to work harder. Only thing we have to do is bring yourself to the lottery shop and uh, near the train station. That's all you did. No, no good process, but just luck. So uh, then is it good or bad? It's not bad. However, it does not repeat, uh, repeat again. On the other hand, on the left hand side, lower side, you know, even the process is not even the process is bad. In most cases, result is not so good, naturally. So, uh, but which is better? But either is, is, is not so good. But when we look at upper side, which means process is better, process is good. Still, you know, on the left hand side, upper, even though you go through the good process, Sometimes, you know, so many things happen under, you know, out of your control. So sometimes you don't get a good result. That happens so often. It happens to me in my entire life. If I go through the right process, but for a couple of other reasons, which is uncontrollable for me, you know, so many things happen and I cannot get a good result. That happens all the time. But of course, the right hand side top result is, is the process is good, then result is good. This is very ideal. But very often, you know, sometimes, you know, things, uh, things happen and, uh, and it's out of your control. Then, you know, you like it or not, but you get bad result. However, don't, you know, as, as you look at this in the Yanis circle, and not, not circle, it's a red, red mark, even though the process is good, but the result is bad on the left and left top. It is okay, even though the result is not so okay. However, what you have done, you take, you take, you have taken a good process, and you just happen to have a bad result. But it's okay because as long as the process is good, sooner or later you will get a good result in the long run. So uh, this is very, very important process because process will bring you to. To the, the the target and uh, and uh, and uh, so uh, we have to always keep you know watching whether the the process I've taken is good or bad. And uh, when you the reason why I'm saying is you see the bottom, you know, process you can control. It's controllable for you because you set the process by yourself how to attain the goal. See. And you said, okay, step one, step two, step three, step four. You create the process. So you go through that so you can control. If it does not work, and maybe process two or process three it does not work, then you can change it. So it's controllable. It's under your control. But result, you know, result is the outcome of many, many factors. Sometimes, you know, sometimes good luck. Sometimes you cannot control because so uh, that's why the process is so important. And so I'm not saying that result is, is, is no good, but result, of course, you can get a good result. However, we focus on the process. That's why within Toyota, if you, even though you cannot attain the, the original good result, but people don't blame you, your boss will not blame you. The first question is that, oh, Yoshino, just uh, you, you cannot you cannot attain the goal, but what was the process you went through? Let's discuss about it. Maybe we can find some good, you know, good place that to start and to revise it again. So uh, that's how it works. And so that is one reason 
why we put big emphasis on the process because when you look into details about the process you have taken and when you cannot get a good result you can learn so many thing, things okay i again first step second step third step first step is okay second step is okay but maybe third steps maybe this was something you know this should be improved so it's a learning experience you can learn so many things if you you if you watch for the processes but you know on the other hand if you only watch the result you know you cannot learn because it's it you know only results sometimes you know even though you don't work hard but still the good luck comes to you then you don't learn anything so uh, this is so important and uh, so that that reason why within toyota when we run into some mistakes we we don't have to worry about being blamed because because we have people just always try to watch the process rather than result so that yes. is one of the greatest culture of toyota yeah i think i think it's interesting you know when you saw these arrows in the previous slide these arrows towards the target and basically learning how to make the process better understanding how things have to be developed what the key issues are helps you to make the, the arrow more in the direction of the target basically well, basically there are two things mentioned here the process and result and based upon that we made a kind of checklist so what are the steps the steps in uh, in the check process well first of all of course the result you have to check the result and the process and probably the second is is more important than the first but the first thing is are we happy with the result and why we because there are more stakeholders customers employees company so we have to think about the happiness of of the stakeholders and in order to check that it's needed to have a scientific report so a good report a valid report that shows the quality of the result so that's important um, uh, there are sub questions what is different from what we desired or expected what are the good things that are realized are there things that can be improved further which elements of the result can be copied elsewhere so these are important aspects but not less important probably even more important are we happy with the result and in order to check that we need to know what the methodology was what the process was so it has to be clear and documented during the do, do phase which process elements went different than desired and planned what were the good things in the process are there things that can be improved further and which elements of the process can be used elsewhere i believe that such a scheme can be a kind of kata for doing the check it's simple but it's it works some rules don't throw away targets because of only a bad process and we normally in many companies there are many creative persons if the target is not realized they know another way to realize the target and they throw away everything of the process earlier developed so don't throw away targets uh, that's important don't change the targets that easy And furthermore, uh, in doing the processes and in doing a good process, having a good target, boss managers are have a main responsibility. And the role of the manager uh, also need to be checked. So that's also a kind of self-reflection. What did I do to make the process good? If the boss does not have the attention, during the execution of a project, then probably you cannot expect that much. So the boss has also show Hansai self-reflection. Yeah. Now I have an, uh, another question for you, Yoshino. Uh, okay. 
that plan do check act uh, Deming once told well plan do check act we should change that in plan do study act uh, so why didn't the, Jap the Japanese why didn't the Japanese uh, uh, change plan do check act into plan do study act what do you think well actually we don't we don't say PDSA or or study but we we call it check but maybe in the western world check means this is my opinion personal opinion but check is to find out whether whether you you make some mistakes or check is sometimes you know it's kind of one way to blame somebody who makes who makes this mistake so sometimes check is a kind of one way to punish some something but Within Toyota, no, check means just check and study or just find out whether what was the reason why we succeed, what is the reason why we fail. So we ha we want to find out the cause of the problem, cause of the success. That's what we call we call check. So uh, some some American people don't like the word check because oh my boss is gonna check me, check on me. But in within Toyota, no, check it's it's Check is okay because because when you start something, but so many things happen, we, even though you don't expect it, it's going to happen. So things will not go as as much as you as you expect. So you know, so many things happen with even you don't know. So you have to always find out whether what you are doing is on the going to the right direction and right pace. So that we call check. And uh, so I don't see any big difference between, you know, check and uh, and the review, whatever study, whatever. We don't we don't differentiate so much. Maybe the Western world, uh, maybe you guys might might find a big difference, but to us, to me, it's it, it's not no difference. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, we we discussed a little bit about it. When you have plan do check act, basically uh, in plan. You you plan what it, what is the desired result? What's what's the target? What do you want to realize in the future? The future state. Then you have the methodology how to realize it. What is the process to realize it? And you have a date already in the plan phase. You have to set a date for the check at Toyota. That's mm -hmm. true, isn't it? Yes, it is. So it's not at the end of a project we evaluate. No, it's beforehand. In half a year, we, in, or in three months or whatever, mm. or in a week, whatever you choose, we check right. whether or not we have done it mm -hmm. and how we have done it. Right. So then it can be put in the agendas. And what I noticed is that it is also taken very seriously by, by managers. They are not oh, allowed yeah, to change the date. Eh? Well, yes, yeah, because, it, for example, if you have a regular meeting every week, standing just five minutes, 10 minutes, so you do check process is taken over the, but again it's not to find somebody who does not you know uh, uh, you know make mistakes but how things are going that is check action see yeah. Say, hey Tom just uh, you 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 step forward with with their project how things are going this week so it's not check but it's just set us update and uh, and find out whether boss can help them out help him out so. Uh, that is that happens very very often, and uh, yeah. weekly meeting, monthly meeting, and regular, you know, check meeting, and so it's so important, and uh, and because you can make a, make a changes if you find the direction is 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 different, then you can change it. So uh, you can change very quickly if you do that more often. So that's so yeah. important. Yeah, I've. Uh... Made this slide so and so you have the plan, desired result and a desired methodology, and you have the check. That's a moment later. That's later. Mm -hmm. Then you have a real result and you have the real methodology you use. Mm -hmm. And basically, what check does is a kind of comparison, and I think that that's what I like. It's it's comparing which what which you 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 wanted the desired state and the real state. So therefore, I like. To a certain extent, first of all, I didn't like check at all, but, but now I like check more because it is checking. Mm -hmm. uh, but check, 
and check is not an evaluation. After finishing the project, well, basically it's a comparison with the goal to learn. Mm -hmm. And what you say is don't blame. And I think that's a that's very important. Uh, it is. It is very important. Okay. So far, some introduction about what is Czech and what is important for Czech. Probably you may might have questions for you, Yoshino, about the Czech phase. So please use um, please use your chat if you have a question. If there is no question, if it is clear, uh, I think uh, then we'll go to. Uh, then I, I would like you to ask you one one question. So, what is your one of your first experience with PDCA and especially with check how it is done? Uh, was probably the the, the paint situation, the paint uh, story. Yoshino. Oh, okay. Again, yeah. please. Oh, wait a moment. Yeah. Yeah, just we have a couple of uh, questions. Yeah, a couple of questions on the right hand side. Yes. Yes, and 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 one of the questions, um, let's okay. let's say one of the questions is, uh, check is more more the process, and Hansa is more personal. Well, sometimes it is, but uh, you know, the, the, again, you know, Czech. Maybe in the Western, in my understanding, it, maybe in the Western world, probably Czech is, you know, focus on the on the person whether he or she makes mistake or they succeed or not. But within Toyota, Czech is a very important process to find out how the boss can help your subordinate. So it's not, you know, good or bad, but it's finding out good or bad. But if if you check with, okay, dude, is there anything that I can help you to attain your goal? So that's the way we uh, boss asked you, ask asks you. So uh, you know, that it's a very good timing, a very opportunity for the bosses to offer some help to the people working for you. So uh, it's not to find some fault, but it's that again, it's not focusing on the person. It's focusing on the facts, focusing on the process. And because most of the time, you know, bosses are more experienced than the people working for you. So uh, they went through so many mistakes when they are, you know, uh, then younger. So they, they, they have a lot of experience, so they can give you some advice. So uh, again, it is true, it, not, for not we don't focus on the people's behavior, but just you know, foc focus on the facts, focus on on the situation. Yeah, yeah, but I I think you you know, uh, and the the question is also uh, check uh, when you have the process, it's quite anonymous, eh? So it's we did a process and something went wrong, but mm -hmm. then it might happen if something went wrong. For instance, I forgot it. So then there is then there is a personal issue. Why did I forget it? Yeah, that's that's a process. See? Yes, but yeah. it's, it's, if it's, if you if you you find that your subordinate just you know don't remember the forgot, then you blame. Then you get you don't get anything. But if you ask, okay, you must be tired. You have been working too hard. You you know. You know, you, you don't pay much attention. What was the reason why you couldn't pay your attention on the, on the topic? Then, okay, I have a family problem, or you know, I, have, I work too hard, so maybe I, I have to balance or whatever. Then you can sit down and discuss about how to help them out. So uh, again, it's a situation. You have to watch the situation or surroundings rather than blaming somebody. So, so. Don't blame is a very, very important keyword because you, you don't get anything out of blaming somebody. No, but in the example, in the example, you say, well, basically self-reflection. And so mm -hmm. why did I forget it? 
or what happened that I forgot it? Yeah, there is. There, or, if you for, forget, usually you don't forget, but sometimes you forget something. There must be some reason, because yeah. you have some some issues, or you have some you have too many works, too many works you have to handle in a short period of time. Then there should be some space that you can help them out. But if you blame somebody, okay, you are lazy and you forget so so quick. You did that two weeks ago again, this time again. Then you blame your personality, blame, you know. So that's, you cannot get, gain anything. You have to find out what was the cause of or cause of the, the the person's, you know, forgetfulness, you know. There must be some reason, not for the laziness, but for some other factors. So uh, that makes us feel so good. If you, if I feel something, okay, my boss is not gonna gonna blame me for the mistakes I make, but he wants to help me out. Okay, you know, you have too many. You have, I assign you five five items, but that too much. He he might ask me. Maybe you can handle only three, but five is too many. So then we can start discussing. So that's the process. Yeah. Once you told uh, the story of of the paint, yeah. uh, painting you you were just a few months working at Toyota. Yep. And uh, at that moment you were assigned for for the training at the, at the painting mm -hmm. department. Yep. And you made a mistake. Yeah, I did. And you missed. And that, uh, yeah. Yeah, I I I put the wrong wrong solvent in the tank. And uh, but I did not notice that. Then a couple of hours later, that they found out in the paint shop, they found out they rushed to our office, not office, our place. And first question is that okay, something is wrong with the painting. So how did you do that? Of course, they asked me, how did you do that? They are focusing on the process. They did not say that you, you know, you screw up. They didn't. How did you do that? Tell me, that, how did you do that? Oh, yes, sir, I just put this can. However, oh, this is the wrong one. I did not notice that. So they are okay, you put the wrong one, but you did not recognize that this is the wrong one. Then it's not necessarily your fault, but, you know, there should be some, you know, clear space that you can store paint A or solvent A and solvent B. So uh, it's a process. And so that was the very, very first experience of my failure or mistakes. And uh, so uh, then I learned, okay, these guys, nobody is trying to blame me, but they would like to find the real cause of the problem. Everybody is rushing to us and I was so scared. But first reaction is that they asked me, what was the, did not say process, but what did you do that? Not why, but what, what did you do? That explained, okay. Oh, so I, I said, I put the wrong one. So, so uh, that is so important. So that's basically, and basically the result was bad. Several cars were not painted well. Right, it was a terrible, terrible. More than yes. 100 uh, cars re should be repainted. But it, it's very interesting. Those people are, have been working so many years, and they they thank me because because Yoshino, thank you very much because we now recognize that how we are so familiar with this, but we have to make sure that even the newcomer like you will not make any mistakes like that. So they they put all those circles once again, not circles, they put the location very very clear, and make the label much larger and send something like that, so they can learn, they could learn, not lesson, but they can learn how to improve, how, how to solve, how to, how to prevent the same uh, mistakes from happening again. Yeah. That's why they thanked me. Yeah. So uh, that's, that's my first encounter of Toyota's culture. It's a long time ago, but it's, uh, it's, I still remember that. Yeah. Well, just uh, just a question because the check many times the check doesn't start after doing plan and do but it starts with a problem so you many times you told us that uh, uh, managers have to search for problems problems are good basically 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Problem, of co- pro- yeah. Problem is terrible, but problem is the source of the learning, because there should be some reason why problem happens. And so problem, you know, problem does not happen, you know, uh, without any well, happens with many reasons. Good sometimes very, you know, good reason, good things happen some uh, with, with good luck. So problem is if you dig down the problem, then you can learn something very, very important. So that's why we call it, we have to be happy with the problem. And so we don't have to worry about making, mis- making uh, creating problems. No, we don't intentionally uh, do some problems. Of course, we don't want to, but sometimes it happens to us. So that's why problem is welcome. Yeah. And that sounds crazy. But within Toyota, just it is very much welcome. Yeah, basically, uh, we have to accept that we are not perfect. And what mm-hmm. you're saying, well, the problem is is many times it's also the the starting point for PDCA. Mm-hmm. And we check. We say, well, we are not happy. For instance, your case is and with the paint. We are not happy. We check and we act. We we the etiquettes. We we change the etiquettes on the on the paint bottles, eh? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it it might be a start for for larger PDCA uh, issues. Right. And also uh, learning learning takes place over there. Yeah, yeah. And everybody knows that Toyota is that true that uh, that managers they have to search for problems. Oh yeah. Oh Not yeah. Not to that paint is... one, but to start turning the PDCA wheel. Is that? It is it is true because the managers managers don't do the work but the people do the work. So major job of the managers is to make sure that people work in a nice work working environment and to listen to them to how bosses can help them out. That's the major role of managers. So managers does not need to know everything. And so the, so we very clearly define a manager's role, no need to know if every details, but he, he or she has to know what is their responsibility. Help them out, and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, make some some connection with other department, because of the higher you go, that you have more in, uh, uh, people network. So that is what you can do as a manager. But lo- lower rank people don't have much network. So. The, you can help them out by talking to other department and uh, and uh, then help with each other or something like that. So manager's role is to identify or to recognize manager's role is very, very important. Yeah. Coming at this point, I see several questions, but it's a little bit difficult for me to, to organize these questions. So probably, uh, uh, Steph, that you can organize the questions a little bit. I would like now, before going into these questions, uh, start with a with a kind of training, with an exercise. Um, we discussed about it, Yoshino and I, the last couple of weeks. It's an exercise coming from uh, the experience of uh, of Yoshino, but it's a little bit different. We made it a little bit different. So we now mentioned the, the, the boss, Nemoto. It's a case, and I'm asking your answers for that in the chat. Um, well, problems, many times, or sometimes you get problems for free, and then you should be happy. But this was is, is a particular case. Nemoto, let's say Nemoto, he was the manager. It's just a name here. He was CEO. Imagine that you are Nemoto, and you are CEO of a small entrepreneurial company of Toyota in Florida, producing water ski boats. You and Nemoto was among other things mainly responsible for the sales of the boats. And a problem happened. Some customers complained that the boat didn't go straight if you didn't hold the wheel. If you would be the manager, what would you do in that case? Perhaps you can write something in the chat. Okay. 
thank the customer for the for putting in the complaint. That's the first thing. So thank you for the problem. I think that's a good uh, good issue. More more reactions. Talk to the customer. So picking the, the phone and talk to him. But what to say to the customer? Yep. And check the boats that customers complained about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's Good that's the same thing with yeah, go to Gimba Yeah, go and go see. To Gimba go and mm -hmm. see. Go and see, yes. Yeah. Make a boat drive. Look at the process and the the product and the process. Get more information oh, yeah. by mm -hmm. the customer. I would ask the customer to send a movie to show what happens. It's also a possibility. Yeah. Oh, all all the answers is that they hit the point. All, all the answers hit the point. Let's let's now talk to the customer. Well, we we thought about it in the in terms of 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 check or Hansai or check, and when you do check, well, first of all, of course, how serious is the problem? Mm -hmm. And basically, when you hear the problem, well, customers are complaining. And in the philosophy of Toyota, customers are number one. And it's probably also a safety issue. Mm. Yeah. So, but that's the first question. How serious is the problem? But if you think it's very serious, yeah. I'm not sure if just a telephone call is enough, but it's, of course, a start. But what's the reason of the problem? That's the second. What's the process? And basically, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. So then, of course, you do need to act. And then the solution can be the engineer has to go to the Gemba. So a telephone is also an, an option, yeah, or a video is an option. But going yourself to the Gemba, you can see more, probably. And search for the root cause. And after this, probably uh, re-engineering. So it's it's a kind of example of check. Mm -hmm. So so then then next, uh, what happens? Nimoto, the manager, he told the main engineer to investigate the problem, to go to the Gamba and to search for the root causes. And then the comment of the engineer was, all boats have this, not only our ski boat. It's natural. Don't worry. Our boats are the best. If you would be the manager, what would you do if your main engineer would ask, give this as an answer? What would you do? Look again. Okay. And ask the engineer, do you have an idea about what the cause is? Ah, remind him that the customer is not satisfied. Arrange for the Start interviewing other customers. Ask if we can correct it anyway. Outplacement, very good, of the customer, of the engineer. You know, as many managers, as many answers. But there is, of course, certain similarities. Let him check. Yeah. Let's find out. Ah. Ask the engineer if his car has the same problem and if he thinks that is no problem. But of course, then the manager might come. Is another issue. 
probably the main reason, yes. I do not have time to go to these customers. I'm too busy with other things. Also, I feel that this should not get priority. We have to develop a new type of ski boat. That's my priority. If you would be Nemoto, what would you do in this case? So you hear more about the background. It's interesting. Uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, one answer is check the specification of our boats and see if that matches the reasonable expectations of the market. Uh, so, all this comment is very sound judgment. Yeah. I, I'm very impressed. Yeah. It's an opportunity for the engineer to learn from this case. Mm -hmm. So he should be happy with the problem because in the new boat, probably the, the, that will not happen again. So he should be happy to do that and it would help him to build a new ski boat. That's one of the answers. Yeah. Also, Elske, how will he ensure the new boat will go straight? Good question. So basically, he has to go. That's an answer. That's a possible answer. Well, of course, then the check again. For this, I think, and the first excuse probably, and the previous excuse, uh, and that uh, uh, all other boats are also not going straight, uh, it sounds a little bit ridiculous. If the customer is complaining, it is it is it is a real real thing. And so, but but um, check is it true that there is a lack of time at engineering? Of course, that's the check again. And next, but this is also so suggestion. It is not. It does not need to be better. But it's it's just the follow uh, the result. Is it true that it, there is a lack of time at engineering? And if so. Find a way to solve that problem to send an expert. So then it has to be solved. And probably, uh, and so also important note that Nemoto has another role than the engineer. The engineer is focused on, yeah, on, on developing a new boat. He is not concerned with the customers. That's something what, what sales should be, in his opinion. But the manager, he should have a broader view. And that should also be clear for the engineer. So basically, the engineer, isn't it that he should obey the manager and understand what the broader concerns are for, for, for the manager? Right. But there's another problem. When you look very good at this, this issue, then you notice that key principles and values of Toyota are at stake. They are in the discussion. Because the idea of customer first and go to the Gamba, these basic principles are not obeyed by the main managers. So there is a deeper, a deeper problem, probably. So if you would be the manager, what would you do? Nothing because of this? Or what would you do in this case when you have the feeling, well, there is a deeper problem? I think... Uh, yeah, I think Case, gave a, Case Stahl gave a nice... And not only the manager should have a broader view, but any good engineer should have a broader view and responsibility in sitting behind his cut station. I think that's true. Every engineer should be part of the brains of his boss. 
Mm. That's not all it we is. need. That's it not is. all we need. It is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Eric, investigate if this is a is a broader cultural problem. Well, discuss the key values. Already a solution. We already get a, a solution. But first of all, Eric, Eric Putman, investigate if this is a broader problem. Yeah, challenge the case in the management team why we have no time to go to the Gamba. And everybody should be aware of the key principles and values. I ask the engineer, well, it's going too fast, but help develop new experience with learning from customers, etc. Well, Very interesting, interesting yeah, comments. Yeah, I, th I think it's, it's 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 nice nice comments. But of course, mm -hmm. when you do follow the check, then first the result are the key principles and values of Toyota really at this in discussion here in this company, or is it just a personal problem? Is it just the stress of one person? So is it really true what what I feel, what the manager feels? And if yes. How important is this? And probably you will say it's very important. And the basic values of Toyota, I think, are key, aren't they? I, th I think what happens at Toyota when you feel that somebody is not obeying the, the basic values of Toyota, what, what will happen at Toyota, Eugenio? Mm -hmm. What will happen if somebody at Toyota is not obeying the rule of going to the Gamba? Well, actually, that's, you know, we will not fire them, but we have to train them again, retrain them, yeah, and I understand. Mean, yeah, I remember the story in you, in you in the book, in the book of Katie Anderson, that you were mm -hmm. also once sent back to the Gamba. Mm -hmm. That was the, when you when you did market research and you went to the library. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you remember you went to the library to do market research. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you came with a report. You didn't have that much time, so you did library research. And you came with a conclusion to the to your bosses. Perhaps you remember. You came to your bosses with a report, and your boss told, "Well, uh, how did you get this information?" You, the boss told well, you went to the lab. Right, right, right. That is the, not in in uh, America, but in in Tokyo office. Yeah, it's, it's uh, again the go to Gemba type of concept you know yeah. and uh, because i i have i had an excuse because i'm so busy but having excuse is one thing but you know trying to find the real you know things and go to gamba is different so uh, that is one of the things i missed because in in tokyo so busy and, and our headquarters are out in the country so when i was in tokyo then I'm a little bit influenced by, by the city culture. So I just, you know, I forgot all the how important it was. So I learned so many things out of working in, in Tokyo office, even though it's a part of Toyota, but still I was influenced by the environment and I, I less, you know, I, I felt less responsible for the go-to game type of concept. And so I was uh, very, very, you know, I was uh, very embarrassed about m myself. But at the same time, I, I was so happy that Big Boss just, you know, warned me back. You, she knows that you have to go to game, but that's the best policy. And in front of everybody. So uh, I learned so many things. And uh, so uh, sometimes, you know, when you put yourself in an environment where there is no such culture, then you have to, you know, have to ask yourself. You're doing things right all the time. You have to, you have to just uh, ask yourself whether you are doing things right or not, wherever you, you wherever you are. Yeah. And uh, so uh, it, there are so many, so many things you know, happened, and uh, 
and me, and I always try to think that, you know, always look back, and uh, whether whether my my uh, viewpoint was right, and whether action was right, and go to Gimba type of based on the go to Gimba type of concept, yeah. and uh, so it's a never ending, never ending lessons. Yeah, I think it's 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 a. Uh... It's a nice, nice to notice that it's also something which what managers have to stress, of course, and eh? what are the key values of our company, right? And right. and they are responsible to 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 urge their employees to to deal with that in that way. Also, a nice yeah. comment of uh, case because it's just worrying. Uh, hey, you know, it might also be that the engineer was just a little bit afraid of talking with customers. And, up, and cannot handle critics. That's one of the right. comments of case talent. Yep. I think mm -hmm. that's a very in, good. In, yeah, in the real, yeah. What so what we, we mm, what the yeah. Yanis showed this time is a, it's a, it, it's a case. It's it's a case just to, for the discussion purposes. But what actually happened is a little bit more uglier. <laughs> you know what happened is uh, uglier. So. Uh, Maybe sometime you know I can share it with you guys, but it's so ugly, and so that was I learned so many things, you know. And uh, when you are put in a very difficult situation, one of the first things that you that comes to your mind that how can I protect myself? Uh, forget about Toyota, but for, how how can I protect myself? And uh, so. Uh, but in my case, I was determined if something happens because I'm the big boss at the time, big boss. Whatever happens, if out of my control, but still I am responsible. So uh, that makes makes me feel a little bit stronger. So I did not worry about being being blamed because I know my 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 role, and so I learned so many important things outside of Japan. Yeah, and even though I failed the both project, but I learned so many things, and I feel so sorry for Toyota to waste a lot of money, but I personally learned so many things, maybe more than anybody else within Toyota. Yeah, but I, I think I think yeah, I think but but what you were saying, a reflection and uh, and checking, I think that that gives a lot of learning when you are very critical. Also, oh yeah, yourself. oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. Uh, again, you know. Mm -hmm. Let, let's just go to another other question. Okay. The last question, you know, and that's that's not about principles, not about, uh, or probably it it is about principles. But then Emoto had a, and and the manager, the manager had a strong feeling that the engineer had a lack of respect for him. Mm -hmm. I'm the engineer, and you do not know anything about this. You have to sell the boats. Please do so. And this was the unspoken. Of course, he didn't say it loud, but was the unspoken message of the engineer. So when you have that feeling, what are you doing? Are you doing something or are you doing nothing? What are you doing as a manager? It's your own hypothesis, and you should investigate it if you have that strong feeling, or check your assumption, job rotation, and give the guy another speak out and check, mm. or let him, the engineer, sit on the manager's seat for a day. It's also a nice uh, creative solution. But again, here we uh, we we discussed this case. Uh, Yoshino and I discussed this case, and I tried to write something down uh, about the check again. And so the and the result, uh, you have to do a sort of investigation about the result. Uh, is it true? Is this a real problem? And uh, the process with which might cause the problem. 
you have to do Hansai probably. Huh? So is it true that he doesn't have respect for me, for, for me, for the manager? And furthermore, you, you may ask the question, is, it, is that a serious problem? Why is it a problem? Is it a problem for the manager? Or is it a problem for the engineer? Is it a problem? So you need to investigate it, the situation. It, it does not have to be a, yeah, a bad relation, but not an engineer thinks, well, I know how to cope with figures and with I'm good in calculation and everybody else who is not good in calculation. Well, it, it, it doesn't have to be a bad relation, but only, uh, yeah. So I'm just, but this is, this is a good question, a first question about the situation itself. Is it true that he doesn't have respect for me? It's also difficult to ask, of course. Eh? If you ask somebody, do you have respect for me? <laughs> or I noticed that you don't have respect for me. Well, then he probably will answer, how did you notice that? Why? <laughs> and so, so, so you have to be very careful about that, I think. But uh, mm -hmm. but you mentioned several answers, and uh, uh, it's interesting to to go through all these answers. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is so, interesting. So, yep. Yeah. So the second thing is, if yes, if if you feel he doesn't have respect for you, but it's difficult to find that out. But if you have that feeling, well, you hear it from others, from others, etc. Then of course some hansai might also be, be play a role. How did I, how did the manager? He might ask him himself, because it's not always the fault of, of, of the engineer. And how did I lose his respect? What what did I wrong? So that I lost his respect. You know, I think I think. A manager, it, it's very easy to say, well, something my employee is doing things wrong, but probably there's a cause behind it. And the cause might also be the way I acted with PDCA. Well, or that I didn't listen. Or whatever. There might be many reasons. But if that's the case, then uh, uh, then you need to think about what's the action, what can I learn? So that's Hansai. So basically, yeah, I feel that Hansai and the personal aspect, are how do you cope as a person with issues and what, what, what did I wrong and what's going wrong in the process? Well, it's not because of blaming, but it's because we want together become better for the organization and for for the purpose of our organization. Let me see just some some comments. So there is an other problem underneath. Yes, you have to find the other problem underneath and it can be a problem of the employee, but it can also be a problem of the manager. And your sentence could start with, I got the feeling that you don't respect me. Yeah. But of course, and the employee who does not obey the, the principles of Toyota might see that as an offending comment. Eh? So that's the, that's the problem. It's not easy. So giving, there's a good methodology, there's a methodology called giving good constructive feedback. I think that's 
it's valuable and it's worth to search on your internet for it. Yeah. So, but of course, you might also it might also be. I think several managers might say might say, well, he's a hey, it's a good engineer. He does his work. He does his his job, and uh, well, I do my job, and uh, well, it's not necessary has to be a big, big, big problem. Yeah, but you have to think about how big is the problem to make a big issue out of it. Well, this that's the end of this case, and I would like to. After this, you know, of course, you have to act. If you if you search how come, if you know how it comes, am I not doing PDCA, and, but I'm creative, I'm always coming with new ideas and the engineer comes crazy. You know, is that the reason? And I have to do plan to check act or check better or plan to check act better. There might be many reasons. Um, I would like to summarize, and probably afterwards there is time over. Uh, you will also get find an evaluation on the on the chat. Um, uh, I think Steph will put a, a link to an evaluation form. I would like you to to fill in that evaluation form and to give us tips. But to give you now already a summary. What we stressed is, well, stretch PDCA. And especially managers, I would say, especially managers who are very creative uh, might have problems with stretching PDCA because after the D, they already have a new idea what to do. The next one is you always, in everything, do PDCA, but always do a, a thorough check. And yeah, probably the check, uh, uh, check the, the result, what's the situation, and check the process that caused the situation. So in that sequence. And next, uh, be clear that checking has nothing to do with somebody finding somebody who is guilty. So don't blame. Never blame. And check is it's all about learning. Learning is most important. I think also the book, uh, uh, the book Katie Anderson wrote, "Learning to Lead, Leading to Learn," about uh, the about all the mistakes of uh, of Yoshino in his career. I think it's all about learning and and educating the role of the manager. And and I would last one uh, that that what uh, we discussed it. Uh, that's also understanding your role. You have a different position as a manager than uh, than other people who are who are doing your your task. And as a final remark, check Hansai is not needed for the past, but for the future. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so far, this uh, I would like you to, if you have time, I would please find some time, fill in the the, the questionnaire. We have we have a kind of uh, we have a kind of we ask everybody always in every masterclass uh, whether or not they liked it, whether or not they have suggestions. So please fill it in, and uh, well. It's impossible for me to read all the questions to be asked to Yoshino, but we have a little bit time to uh, to answer some questions. That Yoshino answers some questions. Sure. So, if you, I'm not sure, Steph, do, did you find somewhere a question that you say, well, that's nice to 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 discuss now. Otherwise, type in it again. Yes, I've got two questions. So I'll uh, check them out. What I'll say. Uh, right, Rowan asked, "Do you document your Hansei self-reflection, reflection, or only by thinking, or both?" 
Or do you include feelings or thought into Hans uh, say as well, or only facts? Maybe the last question is in the, uh, the most important one. Do you include feelings or thought into Hansai or only facts? And when you, so so the question is basically if you have, uh, if you if you notice a problem, mm -hmm. yeah, and you have a feeling for something, you have a feeling that customers are not satisfied. What what are you doing? Well, first of all, what we have to just meet with the customers and face to face and find out what was what was the key thing that the customer is not happy with that. And uh, that's that is the first step. Then see what you can do about it. And sometimes if you, we judge something out of that assumption out of the report, which is sent to you, if you judge something, then it, 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 won't, it won't take you to anywhere. So uh, when people just complain something, but they only complain that that's it, or they complain about very serious thing, but they are not satisfied. So we have to meet with them, meet with, go there, go to Gemba and find out how serious it is, what is the background of their complaint. And uh, so that's a, not necessarily the, it, it's the same, you know, it's not necessarily the customers, but if you work together with the subordinate, same thing happens. So uh, you have to sit down and just be open to 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 listen to them and uh, and uh, make them talk about everything. And then you discuss about what they can do, what we can do together. So that's the reason why I spend so much time, even now I just quit my university, but I still communicate with the students. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to meet with another teacher in the university tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, 11.30. I have to go meet him because he's in trouble and he needs some help from me. So, uh, and, and he would like to discuss about the problem he's facing together with me. So, uh, because I want to meet with him, what kind of problem he's facing, and that maybe just sometime later I'm going to meet with the students. So uh, that is so important. We have to go to the right place to start something. Don't judge. You know, it's not a good idea to judge something out of the second-hand information. Then you don't. Okay. It does not take you to any anywhere. So. Uh, that is uh, one of the things that Toyota people uh, appreciate very, very much. It thinks it's so important. So, Don't so judge something. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the, the answer is that you say, well, uh, uh, if you have a feeling or just an impression, always yeah. uh, find evidence. Try to find evidence and That's right. uh, That's right. go deep. That's go to the Gamma and, and check uh, very clearly if the problem is a real problem. That, it, then, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's also yeah. a good question from Bas Timmermans. Yeah. Uh, you discussed Hansei as part of a PDCA triggered from a problem, but do you also practice Hansei systematically for personal development goals? And I believe you oh, have yeah. some yeah, experience with that. Because, uh, yeah, of course, because when you succeed something, that still you can learn something. So systematically means you have to sort it out. What are the items that lead you to success? What are the items that lead to failures? You have to dig down more. And so that's, it, if you call it systematically. So when you run into success, when you run into problems, that is really the beginning of your dig, dig down process. And uh, so uh, that, that's why keep keep telling us that, okay, if you run into some particularly issues, problems that we have to be happy because we can learn something. We know that nobody blames you. So uh, and uh, so they are waiting for your comment, for your reaction. So, uh, you know, every time I run into some issues, whatever, even though it's not my issue, but somebody's issues, I, I would be very happy to just go meet with him. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to do that. And then, then share it and sit down, discuss and have lunch together and then put down all the facts, not assumption, all the facts, I write it down and probably we're going to spend maybe three or four hours 
and then the, so uh, that's why I'm because I can learn so many things how to deal with people. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's very very interesting, never ending effort. No, yeah. but if you if you have, the, I think that's the question of bus. If you have a, a personal target that you, for instance, that you say, well, I uh, uh, I want to be. Uh, I want to be easier in talking in in big uh, meetings mm. because I'm always a little bit shy and I'm I find oh, yeah. it difficult to talk in meetings. Yeah. So, so do you use then uh, a kind of system, or also or how do you develop yourself? Do you use hansai so that you ask yourself, "Am I really so shy?" And yeah, I was like that. You know, when when I was younger, I'm a little bit shy boy. So uh, when you were, I, I was supposed to speak up, but I just wait until somebody st start talking. Then I lose the chance for me to speak up. So I learn lesson. Okay, if I have my own idea, even though it sounds silly, but I have to bring it up outside. So I learn so many things. That's why, you know, I, I when I run into the similar type of boy or girl in the university, I always just sit down and wait and uh, and um, make sure that he or she feels comfortable to speak up and so i spend more time and i have to be patient until they feel comfortable to speak up particularly when it comes to some some bad things or some defect or their weak point then i have to be very patient and uh, so uh, it's because i can learn so many things how to deal with people how to coach them so I'm not giving any any advice directly to them. Just I have to maybe 80 percent. I have to listen to them and then always say, "Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. Thank you for sharing it with me." So then that will make them make them feel comfortable. Okay, Yoshino, Mr. Yoshino is listening to me. Then so it takes some time, and uh, it's very very you know time consuming. But you have to be patient. So that's why patient is 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 very very important. And if you are not patient and give them the right answer, you believe it's right. But you know that everybody has a different character, different uh, way of thinking. So you know they say thank you, thank you, sir, very much, good very good comment. But the ten man, ten minutes later, he or she will not remember that because it does not reach the the core of their heart. So you have to be patient. And uh, and uh, so uh, always, you know, good listener. And uh, and uh, so that's, that's so important, particularly managers. Yeah, I think that's nicely linked to, uh, to the issue of which is on the slide, learn and educate. And so yep. it's more or less linked. I think we are at the, well, we are, we are at the end of the, the meeting. Um, I would like to thank all of you to be here and uh, uh, please fill in the questionnaire if you have uh, time so that we can learn how to improve our our, our master classes. Uh, um, thank you all for being here and uh, Yoshino, thank you for being in the My middle pleasure. of the night. My pleasure. And I, I learned I learned a lot from these comments. Yes, I, I to be honest, I, I will study all the comments. Uh -huh. Because it's it's very very interesting to hear and to listen. It to is. See. It is. Thank you all for all these comments on uh, on the chat. Thank you very much and uh, have a good evening, everybody. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.